Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to a, another Spyro video. So today we have got a lot of stuff to talk about that's been revealed from Gamescom. I think I've got like 10 different pictures and I am really excited. But first and foremost, we need to talk about Sheila. Sheila, I actually, you know, I initially saw it and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like it, but I kind of like it, but I don't like it, but I kind of like it. So I was very much like that, but now that I've actually kind of seen it a couple more times, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of like it now. I, I feel like Sheila looks relatively good. I'm just hoping that we get decent controls for Sheila, because I feel that in the original, Sheila was the most difficult one to control. As you know, Agent 9 probably was. I don't know. But I feel like, I hope that we get good controls of her. I always didn't like Sheila because I just didn't like her controls. That was, that was kind of my issue. I think Sheila looks kind of good here. Um, a lot of people complaining about um, her putting hair on her to show that she's a girl. And I was just like, I don't really care about them putting hair on her. It just kind of adds more detail to things like, you know, the moose in the background is wearing, it's got a hat and a jumper. Like, you know, mooses, moose, I, mooses? I don't know what it is. Mooses don't generally wear hats and jumpers, but there you go. Um, she's wearing that little jacket, the little safari jacket, which I think is really cool. Uh, I feel, because obviously she is based off a kangaroo, based off Australia. And I just, I don't know, I feel like I get the Australian vibe from her as well. Not just in her being a kangaroo, but her character as well. I just feel it. I just feel it. I really hope she has a kind of good ac accent. That would make me really happy. I think that she looks really good. Originally, I wasn't quite sure on her, but I think she looks quite nice. Um, very feminine, very effeminate. So I know some people are going to have issue with that. Uh, but, you know, she's a female. So they, they can make her look like a female, you know? Um, I think that, yeah, she's going to be fantastic, actually. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I could definitely see um, Sheila kind of rising up in my standards. I, I do really like Sheila. Um, I, I don't, like, I, I feel like I'm badgering on, but I really do kind of like this design. Uh, I think that it's got a lot of really good detail in it. I think the hair, yeah, is a little bit funny. The hairstyle is a bit weird, but you know, maybe when we see it from other angles, it won't look as bad. Um, and we'll kind of, kind of see what's going on more. But yeah, that's it I want to say for Sheila. Just, you know, I, originally I didn't really like it, but now I do kind of really feel I like it. Talking about the rest of the picture, I've already talked about the moose. i got Billy Goat's house up here, and I really like the mushroom house. I think that that looks really cool, actually. Uh, just the amount of detail that's gone into it. Uh, whether this is a, a shot or something from the actual game, um, I, had a, like, I had a really funny thought. I was like, what if Spyro's just gone through with a camera on every level and just Spyro's selfie adventure or something? It's not really selfies, but you know what I mean. Um, like Spyro, I'm... I'm just yeah <laughs> sorry i had an itch um but like i i feel like spyro has just gone through with a camera on every level or sparks has gone through with a camera on every level sparks's um selfie adventure i feel like we need that as a separate title that is the next spyro game confirmed spyro's selfie ad no sparks's selfie adventure oh dear god what am i doing <laughs> um Next up, we got some concept art-ish stuff from Winter Tundra, and I think this looks absolutely fantastic. The way that Spyro stood there, again, kind of fits into Sparks. <laughs> Sparks being like, stand there, Spyro, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> I feel like I can't get that out of my head now that I've kind of thought of it. Uh, but honestly, it looks amazing. I really like how Winter Tundra's looking, the moon there, and kind of like how the lighting is. I really like that. I've got a little bit of snow there, obviously. It's, it's very snowy. It's winter, um, but we've got this some grass there as well. The design just looks great. Uh, I think that, honestly, this this just looks pretty awesome. I don't know if there were doors there in the original, uh, but they have seemed to put just random doors in places in Sunny Villa, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's just a thing, or maybe they've changed the way that you get to the different uh, realms. Is it realms or the different homeworlds? But I don't think they would have. I don't feel like they would have. I think it would, would have remained the same. Uh, but that's kind of it for that image. The second image uh, is we see a lot more of Winter Tundra. We see it's quite built up. I feel like it's very compact, uh, very much much more compact than the original. Looks shorter as well. Um, I doubt it actually is because um, that wall is actually pretty high. So I think that that's just me thinking he's not only like two foot off the ground rather than ten. Uh, but the amount of detail that's gone into like the lighting there and the windows, uh, the the kind of fortress, um, the the fortress of um the the housing and stuff uh the walling it just looks absolutely fantastic it looks great 
I think we're going to have a really good time. I think we really are going to have a very good time. It just, to me, it looks awesome. Uh, it looks like down the bottom right corner, left corner, sorry, you've got Ripto's flag there, which I wonder what that's actually going to look like, Is whether it's going to have Ripto on it or just a giant R or something, um, because I, I know obviously that changes when you take over the world. Um, well, not when you take over the world, when you release the world from Ripto. <laughs> that's, um, that's that. And next up, I have gone to Sunnyville. And now, I'm not going to say too much on these because... <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because Sunny Villa, you know, it's just, just been shown, and I've kind of released two videos on it already, uh, but again, I think Sunny Villa just uh, looks absolutely fantastic, um, it really does look like Sparks has taken, I really hate that I've seen that now, because it really does look like, um, Sparks is taking just pictures of Spyro as he's going on his journey, <laughs> that's just, that's exactly how it feels, oh god, uh, but yeah, I think Sunny Villa looks absolutely fantastic. The skateboarding looks fantastic as well. Um, I think that this is probably my favourite image of the lot. I would love to have this as my um, as my background on my phone because I think that that just looks absolutely phenomenal. Really, really great picture and just kind of shows exactly what the skating's about. It doesn't show what the skating's about, but it just kind of shows off a little bit more. Next up, we have Magma Cone, which is obviously Mag yeah, it's Magma Cone in the second homeworld of Spyro Two, and it looks I I really like this as well. I I don't have any issues with I don't think any of the the pictures that I've seen, but this looks absolutely great. I love the little guy here who has got kind of the the grassy monster on his back, um, holding the um this blue orb thing here. Now, obviously, they have been around for a long time they've been around for like the, they have been around in a lot of levels i should say i suppose um and they were green i believe uh but they look like they're glowing now they look kind of like <laughs> they're radioactive in some way i don't know but it, it looks great it looks fantastic i think that it's going to be really cool uh the bigger guys in the background there you can see um on the left has the flower on top of him as well um i think that just having the moss and the flower on them just i don't know it felt a little bit weird to start off with but i think it's just a hilarious little thing on them um you can see the little goat satyr thing i'm not sure if it's, I'm sure if it's a satyr or what um kind of in the middle there holding the magma ball uh which you know just that detail looks pretty cool uh the general background you can keep, kind of see some lava bits in kind of the wall which i think is a really good detail to have um because i don't believe that was in the original and the grass as well obviously detailed but i think that that just looks phenomenal and the second magma cone picture is the one that i absolutely love I absolutely love this picture. I think that it looks incredible. <clears throat> the lava just looks like it's flowing. It looks like it's coming down. It really, really does look so awesome. It looks like I want to take a bath in it. I want to take a bath in the lava. I don't care that I'll die. I would die a very happy man. Like, the way it kind of in the middle looks like it run, it's running off the um, higher up section, it just looks absolutely, <laughs> absolutely incredible. I know I've said that like 500 times in this video alone, but I think that just the, the, the ideas of design have just been phenomenal here. Now we've got Cloud Spires. Uh, we have already kind of seen Cloud Spires, but we've got a few more details here. I feel that this is a very kind of Viking theme. Um, this is kind of what I get straight away, Viking. That's a, a Viking attire. And, you know, having the lightning bolt as the sword, I think, Again, that was what, I believe that was what they did in the original, um, which I think is really, really nifty. I think that it's just such a cool thing to have, especially based on a uh, weather world, you know, where lightning is going to be a thing. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't know whereabouts this is, whether this is near the beginning or near the end. I am not 100% sure, honestly, but... Um, I think that it just looks great. The rhino looks awesome. Uh, just the way that they have, like, the, they, they are literally rhinos now. Um, they've always been rhinos, but they're literally rhinos. Like, I really like it. Um, just, like, the attire as well. Like, I love the little, um, the hair there as well. I think that that just looks really cool on top of everything else. Uh, it just, it just adds a little detail there that wasn't there before. And, yeah, I think that just, it's great. And yeah, the next one, like you can see, they're wearing kind of the red and silver outfit, which I thought was in Sunny Villa. Um, I'll admit, like now, the <laughs> you, if you haven't seen my Sunny Villa video, um, I thought uh, for some reason I got my wires crossed on Klaus Byers and Sunny Villa, and I thought that they were dressed differently, but they're not. So do disregard that. I might have to put a comment on that video because um, I, I I don't know what went through my mind. Um, the the shield looks cool there. They look really bulky armed as well. Uh, they just look like you know 
I think they look cool. I love the little whirlwind in the background there as well. I think that that looks absolutely fantastic. And the final image we have today is near the end of Cloud Spires when you're coming out. I think that just the way the spire is gliding here just looks awesome. The room looks kind of cool. Um, not too detailed, but it has kind of little bits and bobs there. Uh, the, the, way, the way out, kind of these big... Uh, things on the sides of the door just look absolutely fantastic. The little details kind of in the the base there as well. It just looks really, really great. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for today. Uh, I know I've been speaking for a long time and a lot of it's kind of been incoherent babbling. But, you know, I really, really am liking how this game is shaping up to be. I think it's definitely going to be worth the wait until November now. Um, I, I was a little bit disappointed, but I can see how much time, effort and work they're putting into this. And it looks absolutely great. But yes, that is it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you're down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Woo!